are the savior of the many. You are the defender of the weak. Hey, I'm Rosemary Lonnie Knight. I am the prosperity minister. I support you in leaving behind the, the, the pain and the limiting beliefs of the past in regaining your confidence and in rising victorious in your true design life. You see yourself as someone who is, is powerful and you are no doubt about it. You are very powerful. You don't, it's not even that you just see yourself. Other people see you as that as well. And they lean on you. They depend on you. And you need to be needed. You don't admit that though. And I get it. Except there's resentment inside of you. And it's building up. You don't like to admit it. But you don't always like the fact that everybody depends on you. It's draining. But you also don't create room for any other experience of life. Because... If nobody needs you, what on earth is your life to be about? You haven't taken the time to really figure out who you are. And so people take advantage of your strength. And you can see it. You can feel that they're taking advantage of it. But you just don't know any other way to do things. You think this makes you a nice person. You kind of see other people as incapable of looking after themselves without you. Whether it is your parents, your children, your, your partner, your siblings... Friends, you feel like you have to save everyone. You feel like you that loyalty and, and being good means that you have to put your own life down in order for everybody else to be, you know, supported and encouraged. And what, they, what will they do if you don't do it? And all of that stuff, except you resent it. You resent it. You don't like it. But you keep doing it. Can I tell you why? Well, yes, I've already said you kind of need to be needed. You don't know what your life would be about if you if there aren't all these people needing you. But also, you're scared of looking within yourself to actually find out what you want in case you figure out that you cannot create it as if that's even a possibility. You are a powerful person. You are literally a divine being having a human experience. Of course, you can create whatever you set your mind to. But the problem is that you haven't set your mind to anything except helping all these people all around you all of the time. And you're just so drained. Are you done yet? Your confidence, even though you look powerful to everybody, it's taking a hit because you continue telling yourself that you're incapable of doing the things that you really want to do. But you don't know that you're doing this you, because you, you're just so busy, so busy, so busy, 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 helping this person, helping that person, doing this, doing the other, going here. The running errands for this person, do that, do, always, everywhere, doing things. And frankly, it's not as if they're even that grateful all the time. I mean, some people are. I'm not saying, and, it's, and I know it's not even why you do it, but it annoys you that they're not as grateful as you would like them to be. And if you would admit to yourself how angry and resentment and resentful you sometimes get about all of these people draining you, you would finally be aware enough to start doing something about it. But whilst you try to hide away from the fact that you just don't like the way life is playing out, the way everybody's leaning on you, the way everybody's draining you, until you admit that, how are you going to move forward? Honey, you are meant for something more. You know it. You are meant to impact lots of people, absolutely, but it's not necessarily all the people that are right now around you draining you. If anything, that limits your ability to have the impact that you are born and meant to have. So wake up. This is your day to wake up. Hear what I'm saying and wake up. Recognize that you need something inside of you saying, I'm done with doing this, living life this way. Face yourself. Start saying no. Put boundaries in place. Rise victorious in your true design life. Figure out what that is. What are you about? Honey, I have a book for you. It's the confidence book. The Deliberate Millionaire's confidence book. It is for driven spiritual people like you who know they're meant for more. But you find yourself living somebody else's life. <laughs> <laughs> and you find yourself stifled by self-doubt, by a lack of self-trust, by lowered self-esteem. Are you ready to do something about it? Get the book. That's all. Just start by getting the book. 
If you link around this video, go and get the book. Okay? Until the next time, could you share this with someone? Thank you. Much amazing love. Bye.